Good evening and welcome to 365 Days of Amazing Stories with Theo Mayer. Here we are on day 358 and I'm continuing the story of Koji the monk, or was it Enzo? Enzo, the whale gunner, the whale shooter, the whale killer, had just killed two sperm whales. One a mother and the second one a young adolescent, perhaps too small even to be legal to have killed. And now as the third uh, spear is loaded into the gun, the bull sperm whale turns and begins to swim directly toward the boat where Enzo is standing with his hand on the trigger of the gun. And the whale now is swimming directly toward him. And he can't believe his eyes, but it seems the world has suddenly changed, suddenly shifted completely. And as he's looking, at the ocean, it seems that it is filled with jewels and diamonds and things rippling off the body of the sperm whale as it swims toward him. The water foaming on either side of the sperm whale's body. And as the whale approaches, it begins speaking to Enzo telling him, do not kill, never kill again, never kill again. And as Enzo's hearing this, he's wondering if he's going crazy. And he grips the handle of the gun harder. And as he does, the spear is blown out of the gun and hits the whale directly in the head. As this happens, he has something very, very weird happen. He falls, slips on the iron deck of the boat and falls down backwards. He hits his head and he remembers no more at that point in time. His consciousness completely changes. And what he experiences is very unusual. He feels completely weightless. Feels like he's floating in water. As he comes into his senses, he can hear all sorts of sounds in his ears, little cracklings. And well, he suddenly realizes that he's hearing the voices of others. Only it's not people language, it's whale language. And he can understand what it is that's being communicated. And it's not just whales of his own species, sperm whales, but other whales as well. He feels free, like he's never felt before, and buoyant and joyous and content, peaceful. He moves his tail and he feels himself streaking through the water. Ahead of him are the other members of his pod. In a moment, he takes a deep breath and he arches his back, sending his nose down. And as he does, he begins to kick. And as he kicks, he glides and sends deeper and deeper into the ocean. And as he does, 
The light changes. The colors change. It gets darker, darker. Colors fade out more and more. And all there is that's left is sort of a deep blue, deep greenish blue that has tinges of purple in it as well. <clears throat> and suddenly he's in nothing but pitch black. He's gone almost a mile down into the ocean before he reaches the cold bottom. He can't see anything through his eyes, but in his mind he can see because through sounds and the sounds that he, he's making and the echoes that come from those sounds, he's able to see the bottom and see objects on the bottom and see other creatures that are in the ocean at those depths. And he begins to glide across the bottom of the ocean. And he says, he does so. He picks up in his awareness, in his mind, a creature ahead, spider-like in a way, but very large. Something inspires him to swim directly at this creature. And as he gets close, he opens his 15 foot lower jaw that is filled with teeth. And he captures this creature. It's a giant squid. And as he hits it, he closes his jaw, the squid wraps its many tentacles around the head. Enzo now begins to move his body up through the darkness toward the surface of the ocean. And as he's doing this, the squid is frantically trying to free itself from the clutches of Enzo's mouth. The foot wide eye of the squid is pressed up against well, Enzo's body, close to his own eye, and up and up through the ocean he goes. And suddenly there begins to be some bit of light and still Enzo kicks his way up. He's been down, down into the depths for almost an hour. And finally, he reaches the surface and bursts out into the light. As his head then comes to a rest or at least to the surface of the ocean, the squid is dead. And unerringly, Enzo has returned with this prize catch to his pod. Enzo begins to gulp down pieces of the squid's tentacles as do other members of the pod feasting on this huge creature. And after they have eaten, they, well, they languish in the water, resting, enjoy each other's company, talking amongst themselves, allowing the gentle waves of the ocean to lap up against their bodies and breathing in and out through that single nostril on the top of their head. The ocean looks beautiful. But then as Enzo is sitting there, 
he hears a sound. And we'll leave the story there. Find out what happens next. And for me, this day is the day before Christmas. Okay, or the night before Christmas, Christmas Eve. Hope you're all having a good evening.